Gary, thank you so much for having us here. This is your foundation's hub, the headquarters for it. The Gary Sinise Foundation is an organization that's doing incredible work, and it was work that was incredibly important to your son as well, Mac. Just two months ago, you experienced a loss that no parent should ever have to endure. Mac, at the age of 33, he died of cancer. And I am so deeply sorry for your loss. I can't even imagine the emotional journey you, your wife, your family are going through right now. Um, how are all of you holding up? Well, we're, we're doing okay. I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's tough. He was diagnosed with this awful chordoma cancer, mm -hmm. which I'd never heard of. It's a rare, rare cancer. And, and what we discovered, because he was having a lot of pain in his tailbone, mm -hmm. and uh, at one point, years ago he kind of slammed on the brakes too hard on a bike and he jammed his tailbone and we thought it had something to do with that and mm -hmm. he would kind of you know he'd say you know God, i'm having a lot of pain here yeah. and then uh the pain got too much for him and i was like what is going on here mm -hmm. my wife had had uh, several spine surgeries so we sent mac to her spine surgeon he put him in the scanner and he, and he found a massive tumor on his sacrum. And that was in 2018, correct? Yeah, that's when we discovered it, yeah. This is the kind of slow going, growing tumor that it, it could have been there since birth. We wow. don't know. And then it's incredibly debilitating as it progresses, correct? Yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> the only way to cure it, you can you can get rid of it. You can operate on it. 70% of the time it's, it's gone, it's, it's solved. 30% 30, 30 of the time it comes back. And he had a surgery, but he was one of the 30% where it did come back. He had the tumor removed in right. September of 2018. And in May of 2019, we found out that cancer came back. I mean, you and your family lived any family's worst nightmare, not once, but twice. Because while Mac was battling his cancer, your wife is diagnosed with her own form of cancer. How did you and your family navigate during that time? It was, you know, there was a really uh, stormy period where my dad had a stroke and then my, my wife had multiple spine surgeries and then she got diagnosed with cancer and then, and then my son got diagnosed with cancer a couple of months later and it was just like, God, what's, what's going on? <laughs> what's happening because this is this is challenging but uh, you know I, I, I gotta tell you I've, I've seen so many families go through really difficult difficult things mm -hmm. you know in the military over the years having seen so much of that had prepared me well to just kind of say well uh, you can't let this paralyze you you have to get in the fight mm -hmm. you know and there and there's I, I wrote a story that was about Mac that we posted online. Mm -hmm. The amount of response that has come in from from that, from telling Mac's story and letting people know what we'd been going through all these years, and I, I never I never talked about it. Mm -hmm. You know, we were just going through it. But to reveal it and then ha and to have this massive response of outpouring of love and support. I got to tell you that, you know, that has helped our family through these initial months of losing our son in, in a profound way. I just want to say to everybody who wrote in to the Gary Sinise Foundation or wrote to me, sent us well wishes, thank you. You have no idea how much it has helped our family. Mm -hmm to get through it. I'm speaking to you, everybody who has supported us and, and helped us. This has been a, yeah. uh, you know, a really challenging time. I'm sorry. But we are blessed that we've had so much support. Five and a half years of fighting, you know, side by side with my son and trying to help him through and then all, and then it's, it's over. He was an incredible fighter. I never wanted to think that we were gonna lose the battle, even though you know that you're fighting uphill you right. know, all the way. And, you know, it, so I just kept I just kept going and uh, trying to do what I could. And the beautiful thing is that, 
you know, the last year of his life, he started to create music again, and it was, oh, no. it was beautiful. Arctic Circle is a piece that he co-wrote with a friend of his from college. That was just a phenomenal piece of music there, but how did the music help him along the way, along his cancer battle? I bought him his first drum set when he was nine years old. He started <laughs> playing. He played through high school, and then he went to USC Thornton uh, School of Music, mm -hmm. and he was playing drums all through college and studying songwriting and composition, and he created a bunch of pieces of music while he was at college mm -hmm. that kind of, you know, got, he just put them away and right. didn't do anything with them. And then uh, about January of 2023, he said, Dad, um, I, I think I want to try to finish this music that I worked on. Uh, all those years ago in college and so I teamed him up with uh, he, he he's grown up around my band I have a great band and great musicians and uh, they all love Mac <laughs> things that Mac wrote, you know, it's just, the music is powerful, it's beautiful, it's uplifting, it's inspirational, and then to tack on the story on top of that of a guy who was completely broken physically, yeah. yet spiritually and creatively and faithfully he was living his life, that's, that's a beautiful thing. And that was your son, that was your boy. It, yeah, yeah, he, he's inspired me, and uh, if, if telling his story can inspire others to just persevere through their own challenges and, and, and keep at it and never quit, never give up, never give up living, then that's, that's a good thing. That's a reason to share it. Now, Mac was a musician. He was a fighter. What else made Mac an exceptional man and son? He was a pure soul. Um, he had a pure heart and uh, he was a gentle, uh, loving, kind, funny, uh, talented uh, guy. He had a strong faith and and it helped him through, I think. And thankfully, uh, thankfully, he, he you know he started to come out of this kind of gloomy period of his life uh, when he was a young guy in the music scene and all of that <laughs> uh, to kind of figuring out who he was and what was important to him. What do you hope Mac's lasting legacy will be? It's hard to even think like that because somehow uh, it feels like uh, he's just on vacation, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's gonna come, come back. I can't say we're enjoying, you know, what's going on, but we are filled with joy that so many people are discovering his music talent because he put that away he thought that was a that was a thing of the past he right. couldn't play anymore he couldn't play drums but he discovered he, the harmonica well that's that's a beautiful thing I right. mean his mom said hey you can't play drums but why don't you get a harmonica and so he did and, and he, he started playing. and he started teaching himself how to play and then he said he wanted to work on Arctic circles this piece that he'd never finished and uh, they planned the recording session. And then after this session, he said, let's do a whole album of music and we'll record this other stuff I never finished and some other songs that are important and special to him. Resurrection and Revival, it's a record that Mac wanted to do. 
and he achieved it. He got it all recorded, and the album, it's being pressed right now. Incre when is it going to be out? Well, it's, it's in pre-sale at the Gary Sinise Foundation right Fantastic. now, so you can order it there. But as soon as it's pressed, we'll start, we'll start releasing it. Incredible. And then eventually, all this music will be on uh, the digital platforms and everything, yeah. where, you can, where you can get it that way. He was happy at the end of his life. He was, he was joyful in the, those first few days in the hospital. He was showing the videos to the nurses and the doctors and, you know, playing his music and they were, they were all completely knocked out by his music and, and he was smiling and, you know, the, you know it wasn't an, until the last couple of days that it, it became you know, clear what was going on. But those first few days in the hospital, he was still, he was, he was happy that he had accomplished what he want, wanted. And, and that's what I want people to know about, you know, that, that here's, here's one guy, one cancer story. There's a million of them, there's a gazillion of them. Yeah. And this, you know, Mac, uh, Mac never gave up. He kept fighting and, and uh, I was, I'm proud. Proud to be his dad. I can see that. Like father, like son, you know. You're an exceptional man with an exceptional son. You know that. Thank you.